Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to install Onolite Studio and also use it. So first of all make sure everything is updated. First go to HP Support Assistant, then go to Software and Driver. Make sure everything is up to date. And then go to No Settings, go to Update and Security, and make sure you everything is updated. And this is for the firmware, so just in case but it didn't work with this update, it may work. Keep in the Omelite Studio is still in beta, so it may took a little bit of time. And go to Omen Gaming Hub and click Light Studio. It should link you to Microsoft Store and then just install the program. Yeah, and that's the start. Okay, so now we are in the app. Now there are two tabs Layout and Effects. Now in Layout, make sure you have your laptop visible. This one is Omen 15 DC series. If you didn't see it, it means that it's not supported yet or it's not supported at all. So we are now at the effects tab. We got we got layers on the left, we got zone selection, we got the laptop itself, and we got the effects on the right one. So if you want to create new lighting mode, just press create new layer. And then as you can see we have this option get new layer you can move it like this as you drag it you can also delete it then you can also copy it see and i'm going to delete the copy you can rename it so let's just say test enter and over here we got the lighting what is what the lighting is it's basically from the effects one you can see it will reflect see i change it like like so and over here we got the visibility layer. Uh, you can turn it on or off, just like so. So we, now at the zone selection, we got two more. We click and a box. So if you want the so on the click mode, you just have to click on the keyboard. This one on on the left. We light up we the middle one. We light up and on the right one. And of course on the WSD key. Now if you if you want to select it all, just left click. And then drag all the way and it will light up then you also have the box one so get this box in just move it if it's on the middle you move it to the left to the right and also make it bigger like so you can also rotate it if you want just like so yeah and over here you also have the zoom out zoom in if you zoom bigger one, just press like that and zoom out. You can also press this one to center everything, to center it. So you can also use this to basically all, so you can see all the mat or whatever it is. Okay, so now let's go to the fact set. So you can see that uh, I have selected the whole keyboard. Now, so we got static. Will display just one color, you can change it like so, just like that. Then you can also set a custom one if you want. You can get this color wheel to select it, and press OK. Okay, the second we have the ambient mode, so it basically will try to replicate the what's on the screen to the keyboard of course not going to be exact because it's only a four zone you can also choose from its higher scale or just the foreground app so uh, just, just the display here image per second sorry I mean image quality and update per second Hello. so let's, let's move to my browser here so you can see that change this one okay. change see okay now let's move to the audio visualizer so this one it will visualize kind of visualize the music if power button waveform so let me show you I'm going to play this music. You can also 
choose the gradient mode. You can also choose waveform. So apparently each zone will will respond to a certain frequency. I didn't really know about it that much. Exact what exact frequency does it responds. So yeah, let's just stop it. So it's really it's off now. So let's go to blinking. So just say what it says. Let's blink and choose the primary color and the secondary color. You can also choose, choose the speed. So I'm gonna speed it up. And we're gonna slow it down. So random as a color. And we also have the reading one. It's changed, it's just slower. It's the difference between the blinking and reading. You can also adjust the speed, colors, just like so. You can also, you also have color cycle. So we have different themes here. We got galaxy, ocean, jungle, volcano, omen, and you, get, you can just speed. You can also do a custom one if you want. Okay, and it's like we have the image mode, so it, it will basically try to re replicate the image that. You, or that you will you can also select it. For example, I chose this. Now it will try to replicate it, but if it's way too complex, it's does it will not look like one. It's this really kind of resemble a little bit, in my opinion. And the interactive, it's not work. Because you need a per key RGB keyboard to do that. <coughs> Maybe on the Omen keyboard, and I don't have one. Also have this wave. It's the different with this wave and the color cycle is the the wave. They have different colors and meanwhile the color cycle is only single color. See. So again, you have team you can choose. And you can also adjust the speed. Just need the direction. Yeah, so that's basically all the feature that is available right now. Yeah, it's a great addition, especially because you know the original one did they. They can even do this. It's just static or or off, basically. Yeah. So that's it. And thank you. And don't forget to subscribe if you want. Thanks. See you later.